know it's bad when the husband says, as you're two blocks away from the house, did you lock the front door? And you have to watch the security camera video footage back to see if you did or not. Yeah, anyway. just before lunch so I can technically still say good morning. Sunday, November 13th? Mm, I think so. I think so. It's 11.49. Uh, 11.49, yeah. I spent the morning doing a couple of quick tours but also fil finishing filming the two-part series on making your own paint pigments or pigments, period, to use in art. Um, discussing my ideas about different things. Do the videos make sense? I don't know until I edit, but hopefully. Anyway, that's done, which is fine because tomorrow's Monday, which is usually my editing day. We noticed yesterday when we were out in my car that it appears that the seal around the sunroof is leaking again. If you've been watching my vlog for a while, you know we have this issue with this like smack in the middle of COVID. Thought we got it fixed, but yeah, so we'll have to have that looked at again. Right now, we're gonna go for a walk. See what we can see, see if any ducks are out. Breathe some fresh air, all that stuff. All right, let's get going, shall we? For Hitchcock or something with all the crows, yesterday the geese, the hell? Yeah, because yeah. humans are coming. I got so much video filmed this weekend. Um, the tile guy is coming tomorrow to work on that kitchen countertops, which is the last part of the kitchen repairs. While he's doing that, I'm going to be video editing all day, so which is good. I've got a few more videos to film, but the most important ones are done. And. I guess Bob's finally excited about maybe working at home full-time because he's up there upstairs planning out and, and ordering a new desk. And I guess we're going to be embarking on a office remodel project soon for him. Yay! I'm happy about that, by the way. All right. I'll be back. We'll do a quick bit before everybody gets there. Uh, the tile guy is coming this morning in a little bit here. And going to do the last of the kitchen repairs. He's going to regrout um, and recalk parts of the kitchen counter and sink area. Um, so that's going to be done today. So the kitchen's a bit of a mess again. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I've got, I think, four or five videos to edit today. I've got to work on a crochet project. I've got to print some stuff to do in my watercolor sketchbook. There's a lot to do, so that's fine. Um, I'm gonna spend most of my day probably up here in the art room working on all those projects. So, and I think I've decided that this is going to be my pigment experiments palette, but I'm gonna take my favorite paint colors from this palette and make them again and make a palette of those colors specifically that I can work from, take fr take with me somewhere, that sort of thing. I think I'm gonna use this chocolates tin from Hawaii and um, I think that'll be really good. And the bigger experiments one will stay here in the art room. So I think that's how that's gonna work. I may end up using instead of that because if I want to take it around with me, my other little aspirin tin, maybe. I'll have to count and see how many 
um, colors so far that I've made that I really love. If there is eight or less, I can use this. If there's more than that, then I have to use a bigger tin. So we'll see. I'll let you know. I'll be back. Hey guys, it's just about 2.30 on Tuesday, I don't know, November 15th. I have no idea. Let's find out, shall we? Yes, November 15th. The kitchen is back together. Yay. So that's done. Um, switch things up a little bit, but you know, the husband will complain for five minutes. Um, we used to have the dish drain in the sink. We're going to try having it on the counter. I did have this silicone sort of mat thing upstairs in the art room, which I don't really use it in the art room. I have cleaned it and sanitized it. Food's not going to touch it. It's just to catch the water. So it should be fine here. Um, so we'll try that. I had the lid to a box. See? Because I don't think I ever had a tray for underneath that. And yeah, anyway. I'm trying to use what I have rather than go buy something new. Because, you know. Hey guys, it is 20 minutes after 1 p.m. Wednesday, November 16th. Sorry you haven't vlogged before now, but when you start the day off at 8.30ish, if not earlier in the morning, by the little girls and their mom next door saying, do you want to go for a walk with us? Kind of, yeah, throws your whole game off for the day. Anyway, I'm here working on the baby blanket and listening to Emily D. Baker and um, one of her broadcasts, and yeah, just crocheting the afternoon away under under my blanket because it's cold. Drinking some bone broth, see, there you go. It's not beer, I swear. Anyway, uh, I think, I, I don't know. That's all I'm planning on doing with my day. Just, you know, I've got to get the blanket done, so there's that. Not because the baby's not be, going to be born until April, but to kind of get the yarn out of my way. <laughs> All right, and it's a quiet week, so I should take advantage. All right, I'll be back. It is Thursday morning, November 17th, 17th? Yep, 9.47 a.m. <sighs> just getting my day started. The size just because. <sighs> anyway, I printed some more crochet patterns. I've got some more grandson-to-be crocheting to do today. Um, neither of them should take too long. Um, Bob has his Masonic Lodge meeting tonight. So I think, I think, I think we are going to start the day, I think, by going on a sketch walk. Now, it's cold outside. It's like, I don't even know if it's 40 degrees outside. It's sunny, but cold. So, yeah. But I think that's what we're going to do. So let's get to it, shall we? We're going on a sketch walk. Got it to find three objects to draw this morning before I can come back. And uh, it's only 42 degrees outside. I do have my fingerless gloves on so that I can draw. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna film any of it or some of it, I don't know, but I guess we'll both find out. I'll be back. It's been way 
way too windy to get any video of me sketching, but this is the creek I'm standing over. For some reason I was painting water today in bridges. I don't know, but that's all right. Pretty cool. All right, let's go home. I'm cold. Time to turn some lights on. What do you think? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's better. So I finished the set of baby stuff. I got the, it's right here. I got the blanket done. I got the booties done. Aren't they cute? And the hat. I will link the YouTube videos and or websites where I found the patterns. The blanket is from Line Brown Homespun, as I said before. Um, the pattern's still available, but they don't make baby homespun, so I just used the same homespun yarn for all of these. Worked out just great. So anyway. Um, oh, it's almost time for dinner. Ugh. Anyway, and I'm freezing again. All right. I also have some drawings to do, and yeah. All that stuff. All right, Good I'll be back. Everybody, yeah, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> Welcome to my world. It is Friday morning, November 18th, just after 9 a.m. Before I go get dressed and take a shower, yes, I'm in my pajamas, I'm going to set some things to simmer on the stove to try to pull pigment out of some food things. So we eat red onions often. And um, I have red onion skin scraps, and I'm going to put them in my pot that I use for making dye. This doesn't get used for food. Um, this is just an art room pot I got at the thrift store. Um, so we're gonna put them in here. We're gonna set it to simmer um, about 45 minutes or so. Um, once it, we're gonna bring it up to a boil, then set it, turn the temperature down, let it simmer for about. 45 minutes and then um, pour that off and then I've got some avocado pits. So I don't know if we can pull pigment out of them using the laking process or not, but we're gonna find out. I'll be back. So while the closet looked decently clean, it got a little bit too hard to find things when I wanted them uh, that I knew were in there somewhere. So I took some of the bigger bins out and put some smaller things back 
relabeled everything and I think organized it in a better fashion. For instance, I have all these small little tools here, including this, which I knew I had somewhere, this like blender thing, and I couldn't find it. I use it when I'm not only making, putting paint together for paint pours, but I've been using it for pigment making. And again, I knew it was in there somewhere. I just couldn't figure out where. So there you go. I do have one pile of trash next to it, a pile of donations, which I have donations in the car. I haven't done that yet. And um, the organizing bins are like, I got to fix that because that's not good. I'll be expected. I knew it needed doing, but I didn't think I was doing it today. That's all right. Okay, now I'm going to take everything downstairs that need to, needs to either be tossed or donated, and I need some water or something. I'll be back. Okay. We decide, decided rather than go grocery shopping tonight that we would go walking and we'll do the grocery shopping tomorrow morning before the kids come for when dinner. It's light outside. Yeah, when it's light outside. <laughs> but it is cold. It's like, what did you say, 41? It's 41 degrees outside of my watch. It's cold. But so we're going to do it fast and it's dark. So this is probably the only picture you're going to see. Anyway. I'll be back to take any video because it's too dang cold. But Holiday House, they're all lit up for Thanksgiving. Can't wait to see what they do for Christmas. I'm not stopping, so the picture's shaky. It's too cold. Anyway. Good morning, cool. everybody. It is 10.43 a.m. Saturday, November 19th, I think. I think it's the 19th. 19th. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're in the car. And we're trying to get down the street to get out to the grocery store you know we live near a senior community and or lots of kids live in the apartments and there's quite a few drivers that don't pay attention to what they're doing and yeah bob had to just swerve to avoid somebody anyway we're gonna go grocery shopping it's really the only thing on the list today the kids are all coming for dinner tonight and um We've got the crib and mattress for the grandson to be. It came and um, the kids aren't really ready to take it home yet, but they're gonna help us get it upstairs and check that make, to make sure that everything's okay with it inside since it was shipped and um, all of that stuff. So anyway, I don't think we have literally anything else planned for the day. So <sighs> yeah, we'll see. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys. I haven't vlogged all day today, except since this morning. Oops. It is 10.09 p.m. We had family dinner night with all four of the kids, our birth daughter, her husband, adopted daughter Jenny, and her husband. It was great. Um, it was so nice to see everybody. We played a new game. I don't remember the name of it, but it was based on funny text messages. It was like Cards Against Humanity, except with text messages. But text messages, yeah. I don't remember what the name of it was. But if I can find out from the kids, I'll put it here somewhere. But it was really fun. <sighs> then, because we're doing um, early Christmas with them, uh, they asked us for Christmas lists. <laughs> I hate doing that. We have until Wednesday. Yeah, Christmas. we have until Wednesday. I put a few things... But we'll see. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> we have to do that. Um, Bob, I think, got the water leak in my car solved. He cleaned out the drains for the sunroof. I think that's fixed. But then now we have a problem with the motor in, in the passenger side seat. And it's pushed all the way forward and it won't go back. So, you know, it's an old car. I don't know what to tell you. <sighs> anyway, it's been a good week. It's been a weird week, but it's been a good week. Uh, I gave daughter her baby blanket and booties and hat for her baby to be, and uh, she loved them. They, Apollyus and Bob brought the crib and mattress upstairs. I don't know where they put it upstairs, but somewhere upstairs. And um, yeah, so it was good. Anyway, I think that's all. I'm tired, can you tell? Anyway, 
I hope you've had a good week. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the video description for relevant links, ways to support the free content, my Patreon, all that stuff is down there. Um, and uh, yeah, don't forget to have a good week and a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.